How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna calculate how much I am actually consuming in electricity, and that way we can do a little bit of math and compare it to how much I would be wasting in gas in my 2021 Mach-E. Now I've had this car for about a year. I've put a ton of miles on it. I've put 27,602 miles on it in just about a year. Um, so I, originally my wife and I, we got this car because of the uh, fuel efficiency and also because it has a bunch of really cool technology. We like the looks of it, you know, a bunch of other things. Um, but uh, yeah, we drive a lot. This car gets used and abused. So I want to calculate how much energy or, or, or electricity it's actually wasting. And that way we can compare it to how much fuel um, we would be wasting in a comparable SUV. So stay tuned to find out. So originally I was going to do this by hand and do all the calculations and I'm like, wait, technology, the internet. So I just went on Google and I put in, you know, EV uh, consumption calculator or something like that. And uh, Duke, which is actually my energy provider, uh, has a calculator and they actually go um, and, uh, you know, using some assumptions on, on energy consumption and energy costs, um, you can actually just plug in some numbers and it can actually spit out the... Uh, the cost of electricity that you're using to charge your EV and how much you would be saving compared to a gas or ice uh, vehicle. So here is that calculator. And uh, let me show you guys some of the assumptions that this calculator makes. So before we even plug in any numbers, uh, we're gonna go into this little link here that says how it's calculated. That way we can actually see you know, what kind of assumptions they're making. Um, so this is through Duke Energy, which is actually my energy provider. Um, so here's the assumptions that Duke is making. Uh, so the average energy residential rate of 0.1117 per kilowatt hour um, and an average EV efficiency of 3.5 miles per kilowatt. Um, this is, again, just generalizations, but really, really nice tool to use if you're just trying to, you know, get a ballpark estimate of, how much you're actually spending. Um, this is uh, the math into how that's calculated. Okay, so now that we have those assumptions out of the way, um, you can actually put in here, how many miles do you drive daily? So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys, I drive a lot, my wife drives a lot. We've put 27,000 miles on this car in a year. So we drive more than normal. So these numbers, you know, might not be the same as what you would drive, but you know, this is, this is what we would be saving. So, um, how many miles do you drive daily? About a hundred. Uh, my wife commutes 50 miles each way to and from work. And, uh, you know, on our days off, we use the car as well. So good estimate, about a hundred miles a day. Um, let's see miles per gallon. So this is assuming you have a comparable internal combustion engine car, uh, we used to have a, a Cadillac SUV, like uh, the, it's called the XT5, uh, before we got the Mach-E. And I think on average, uh, you know, combined, that car would probably get about 18, 19, maybe 20 miles per gallon. So we're going to go ahead and leave it on 20 miles per gallon just as a nice round number. Um, so assuming gas prices are at $4, this is how much we would waste on gas on a monthly basis, $608.74. The monthly utility cost to charge the Mach-E is $97. So on a monthly basis, we are saving $511 compared to the Cadillac SUV that we had previously. Just in gas, that does not include oil changes. So now let's say uh, we change our oil like every uh, 5,000 miles on an internal combustion engine car. This car has 27,000 miles. So say we've changed the oil, you know, five times every 5,000 miles. Uh, that's another, you know, assuming a hundred dollars per oil change, that's another $500 in savings. So $500 a month in gas savings, plus another $500 a month in oil change savings. Um, that's, that's a massive amount of savings over a year. I mean, it, it really, really adds up. So I was actually shocked 
to see this number because you know it's like it makes even more sense to get an ev now that plus the tax credit you know the federal tax credit that uh we get here in florida we're not like uh california that we get a uh state tax credit unfortunately or state in incentive um but we do get the, the we, uh, well at least on this car we got the seventy five hundred dollar uh federal tax credit or tax rebate um but yeah that is the uh the monthly savings on on our maki -E over a year period which is absolutely insane so you know five hundred dollars five hundred and eleven dollars a month in savings just on gas alone now here's the thing that might not work out in everyone's scenarios like you might not save that much because you don't drive that much but the more you drive the more you save because electricity to charge your ev is significantly cheaper than gas so really the more you drive the more you would save so it really made absolutely a ton of sense for us to buy this car um, and then again, oil changes on my F-150, take it to the dealership, it's a hundred bucks for an oil change. So, you know, assuming every 5,000 miles you change the oil, uh, 25,000 miles, that's five oil changes. So you're saving another 500 bucks there in oil changes. So it is, it is absolutely insane. Um, I had actually personally never calculated this number before. I know we did a little bit of, uh, you know, back of the napkin math. Uh, when we first were looking to purchase the car to see if it made sense and you know just right off the bat we were like okay the more we drive the more it makes sense to buy this ev plus it had the seventy five hundred dollar tax credit it's a really cool car it has a bunch of really cool technology and we were like okay this makes this makes sense so if anybody's on the fence if you drive a lot i would highly consider it if you you know if your commute to work is five miles or 10 miles mm, i would really think hard about it um from a financial perspective it might not make a lot of sense but um in this case i mean i'm, I'm gonna be completely transparent the uh payment on this car is a thousand dollars a month right so if we're saving 511 dollars a month in fuel savings alone that means our payment is less than 500 dollars a month just because of that fuel savings over a regular car. So it is, I mean, it's a no brainer. This is awesome car. And uh, I'm actually shocked. Like I said, this is the first time I've actually plugged in the numbers into a calculator um, just to see how much we were actually saving compared to our old SUV, which was the Cadillac XT5. I mean, that car was fantastic. It was, you know, sporty for an SUV. Um, it got, like I said, average gas mileage, we probably got like 18, 19, 20 miles per gallon average. Um, so it's a good comparison to do with the Mach-E because, you know, pretty similar in, in size. Um, it was, you know, kind of a, a more premium vehicle. Um, but yeah, good, good comparable. So there you guys have it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you surprised by the amount of money that we are saving by driving this car? And, uh, uh, yeah, would you get a Mach-E if you have a long commute? And um, yeah, like I said, for a short commute, I would, I mean, from a financial perspective, right? Like if you really like the car and you want to get a Mach-E just to say you're driving around a Mach-E, sure. But um, I mean, that we didn't really get this car for a, you know, financially savvy move, but it was enticing, you know, to see the, the gas savings and the uh, federal tax credit. So definitely did influence on us purchasing this car but there you guys have it let me know what you think in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video